Dear brother and sister, there is no use trying to speculate about the future. And I see a lot of Christians today, brothers and sisters, they are worried about the future. They want to know what is going to happen. And they're worried. They don't know what to do. They're always running left and right and being anxious. Don't know what they should do. Some people are running for food. They want to prepare for the great tribulation. Other people are only warning all the time. But in reality, most are just being very anxious and worried. But dear friends, there is only one thing that we need to be safe and to stay on the narrow way. That is to have our fellowship and relationship with Christ right. We need to be living, pleasing to God. We need to also remember that whatever happens, it is God who is allowing it to happen. We need to see everything from God's perspective. If we are only looking at what is happening around the world, and we see the calamities and the politics, if we are only worried about our rights, then we are only living in the carnal world, dear friends. But the truth is not in this world. The truth is spiritual. Jesus says, I am the truth. We need to sit in heavenly places. We need to see from God's perspective. And the only way we can be safe is if we follow what Jesus said. Jesus said, in your patience, you possess your souls. Jesus says, in this world you will have tribulation, but rejoice because he has overcome the world. Jesus said that we need to keep his word with patient endurance. Dear friend, if you keep the words of Jesus and if you abide in him, you have safety. This is what we should worry about. We are gonna die sooner or later. It doesn't matter if it happens now or later. I know it might be easier said than done. And I'm not saying that I don't struggle sometimes. I do. I have a family and I have three kids and I worry. But I take it up to Jesus. Because I know that He cares about even my kids, more than I do. Dear friend, dear brother, where is your faith when it comes to the reality of Christ? Where is your faith in the fact that Jesus Christ is on the throne and he knows what is going on? Read the book of Job. Job was a righteous man in the eyes of God. The devil could not touch him unless the devil took permission from God himself. And God will allow sometimes the devil to tempt us because God knows why these things need to happen. He knows why we have to trust him. He wants to teach us to trust him even when we don't understand. And this is truly what is what faith is all about, dear brother and sister. You need to look at things from God's perspective. And then you will have peace. Because you will know that whatever happens to you, it is because God himself allows it. And if we are his children, he will not let us down. He will be faithful and he will work out the best for us, our eternal best. He cares about you, dear friend. He cares about what you need. And he will provide for you. And whatever happens, it is because it's His will for you. We need to accept the will of God for each one of us. That is, if we truly trust Him, if we truly trust Jesus, who is in control. Do you trust Jesus, dear brother and sister? You trust that He will provide for you, for your family, for your needs? Will you stay under the covering of Christ? Will you abide in the Holy Spirit.
no matter what happens. And may God bless you.